Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be talking about multiplication and division and backed families. We have a cool worksheet called Bug Math. Let's read the directions and get started right away. The directions say, complete the equations by drawing a circle around the correct number. Okay, in this problem, the first thing I see is a picture of a bunch of bugs. Then I also see two equations. The first equation I see is seven times something equals 28. The second equation I see is 28 divided by seven equals something. When I look at these problems, I know I'm solving for the unknown number. This is kind of like that big scary word, algebra. But we can make it really simple by using something called a fact family. Whenever I solve fact family problems, I like to think about a fact family triangle. And in this fact family, we're missing a number. We know that we have the number 28 at the top of the fact family. We also know we have a seven somewhere on the bottom. We have to find this missing number. Seven times what equals 28? 28 divided by seven equals what? These are all things that we're gonna figure out today by using counting and relating multiplication and division. Let's get started. Let's look at the picture of the bugs. First, I know that there's 28 bugs because the total in both problems is 28. I also see this number seven. Let's count the number of columns to see if there are seven columns, because already I'm starting to think that there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven columns. Let's see how many rows there are. There are one, two, three, four rows. So now I'm already starting to think maybe that missing number in my fact family is four because I have a total of 28. I know that there are seven columns and there are four rows. Let's check our work by skip counting. Let's skip count by sevens and let's see if we can land on 28. We'll use our hands to keep track of how many times it takes us. Seven, 14, 21, 28. That's one, two, three, four. So already, something else lets me know that I think four is the correct answer. But really what you just did was a division problem. You used a higher number of 28 divided by seven, and we skip counted by seven to 28 and got an answer of four. So we used a division problem to help us solve this multiplication problem and we came up with an answer of four. Now I already wrote out the division problem but let's check it out again just to be sure. I know that when we do 28 divided by seven that's really asking me how many sevens are inside of 28. Well if we skip count by sevens again we'll find that there are four sevens inside 28. Seven. 14, 21, 28. There are four. And it's again demonstrated by the picture. There is one seven here. Remember we counted these bugs as being seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one seven. Here's another group of seven. So that's two groups of seven. A third group of seven makes three groups of seven. And a fourth group of seven makes, well, four groups of seven. So I'm pretty confident that seven times the unknown number, that unknown number is four. So seven times four also equals 28. And these are two equations inside of this fact family involving the numbers 28, seven, and four. Our next problem is another fact family problem. This time, our fact family has the number 18 at the top and the number nine 
on one of the sides of the bottom. We're looking for another unknown number. In this problem, I know the total is 18 butterflies. When I see this problem, 9 times blank equals 18, I know that I can relate it to a division problem. I see it right here on the bottom too. 18 divided by 9 equals something. And to do 18 divided by 9, we can just skip count from 9 to 18. And that's pretty simple. 9, 18. And if we count that, it only took us two times. So I know 18 divided by 9 is 2. So now I'm starting to think that 9 times 2 is going to be 18. And we can fill in our fact family. And 9 times 2, in fact, is 18. Because you, you skip count by 9s. 9, 18. You've done it twice. So 9 times 2 is 18. We know that 18 divided by 9 is 2. So again, I'm pretty sure the unknown number in this problem is 2. Boys and girls, remember, you can also check your work by circling groups of 9. Let's count the first row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 butterflies in the first row. So that must mean there's 9 butterflies in the second row. So if there's one group of nine butterflies, we have one group. And if we circle the second group of butterflies, that gives us two groups. Again, proving to us that 18 divided by nine is two. I feel pretty confident that our missing number is two. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.